Hello everyone and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. This is the Satyricon checking in. And in today's episode we're gonna cover the last update that we had, uh, which was the 226.0. Um, where they added the Oviraptor, which we have been waiting for for ages. Uh, but it's finally out and um, we actually tamed one yesterday but I didn't record it. So I'm gonna go ahead and record it today. And uh, yeah, some other things they released is a new armor set. Uh, let me just check you or show you in the Ingram points. We have the um, these ones. I even spelled it wrong. These is the new one. I don't know how to pronounce it to be honest. Um, so I'm not gonna even gonna try. But this is the thing that comes after hide. So. Mm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it, but yeah, it camouflages you, uh, it keeps you more hidden from enemy creatures. So that's pretty much the only thing, and it's heat, it has something to do with heat as well. Uh, yeah, keeps you cool. So, mm, the opposite of fur, I would say, maybe. Um, and also they have the industrial oven, so or industrial, see what they named it in here. Um, Industrial cooker, yeah, and it's like a cooking pot, but it's uh, much much better Obviously, uh, it's like the industrial grill and the industrial uh, forge um, They also added a modern bed. Now <laughs> that's a bunk bed <laughs> So if you search for bed here, <laughs> you have the bunk bed now I learned the engram Because I thought yeah, it would be cool to learn it uh, and like craft it and stuff I checked in the fabricator and the thing is that it costs like 320 metal ingots and 80 polymer and um, or something else it's like insane amount of stuff just to craft a bed um, so yeah I, I'm not gonna go ahead and do that I think they added a table as well I'm not sure we just check the table yeah so they added a table as well, so you can add that now inside of the um, bases. So that's pretty much what they added in this update. Um, pretty, pretty okay. Um, so I was thinking to go ahead and um, go and tame uh, Oviraptor now, actually, to show you that. So I'm gonna go north. So. I will just cut ahead in the video until we are there and then we'll start and tame one of the over raptors. So I'll be back in a second. Okay you guys, we are back and uh, we have found one over raptor level 10 is just underneath me as you can see. So I'm gonna try and see if I can hit it. Um, if it would like to be in a good spot, which is not really at the moment. Let's see if we can fly a bit further here. It's a pretty cool color. It's a level 10. Um, okay, stand still. Um, I shot it. I don't know if it reacted though. I don't think so. It's just running around. I don't hear the music. There we go. Oh no, he's running away from me. Oh no, it's knocked out. So they actually run away from you. Alright, I didn't know that. However, ouch. I do know that this guy blinded me. Ouch. Um, it's like I'm lagging, I'm stuck or something. Okay, there we go. So we knocked this one out. It's a female, level 10. Um, I'm not gonna go for... Like, I don't care if it's high level or not. <laughs> We're not gonna use it to fight anyway. We're gonna use it to like collect eggs and stuff. So, yeah, we have this one knocked out now, which is uh, very good. Um, it has okay 200 torpor. So the thing you would do is that you feed it with eggs, 
Now, we did Rex eggs yesterday. And uh, I do hope that... I don't know if the, it, it's the best or not. But... Um, that's the way we did it yesterday. <laughs> so that's the way I'm gonna do it today. So... Yeah, should be fine. We can ride a turtle while we're at it. No, we're not gonna do that. I'm wondering if I'm gonna starve it first or not. Me and Eowyn was, were talking about it yesterday and the fact that we might like starve it first before we actually feed it. Um, because it has to go down 200 in food before it eats one Rex egg. So I might actually go ahead and do that in this episode and we'll see if it has any effect like if it will help us out or not I'm not sure so <laughs> it's covered up in um, some spoiled meat and hide nice um, but it's, uh, I think it's a pretty cool color I don't know it looked more red in the daylight it's night time now so I don't know we'll see Hopefully it will be pretty cool. Now the only thing we would have to do is to play the waiting game. We can play with my Quetzal. No, I'm just joking. Um, but something about the Overraptors is that they collect eggs for you. Um, and when they're not yours, they eat eggs. So it's an egg stealer, which is, um, well, it's pretty awesome anyway. Um, it's good to have if you have a bunch of dinosaurs Because they can then walk around and collect all the eggs that they would drop so you wouldn't have to do it yourself So that's uh, that's a cool feature um, in the game So you won't have to lose so many eggs from your dinosaurs um, And also I don't think I'm gonna craft I'm not gonna do the armor um, That's for sure because I would have no use for it because where we live it's quite perfect, like it's not too cold, it's not too warm. So I'm, I don't really need any armor for that. And if it's too warm it's fine anyway because you can just drink water. <laughs> Against cold it's a different story, that's why we have fur armor whenever we go to the snow biome. Um, the industrial cooker, I'm not sure if uh, we're gonna do that, probably Eowyn would like to do it. She's doing all the cooking stuff and things in the tribe, so... Yeah, I would suppose that she wants to do it. Um, other than that, I'm not sure... With this update, if we're gonna do anything else. The bunk bed... The only thing that it does is that they give you half the spawn time. Um, and I'm just not sure that it's worth like all the resources that it takes to actually craft one. Hmm, I don't know. I'll, I, will, I will think about it. Probably when I'm very bored and like have nothing to spend resources on, I will go ahead and craft one, but mm, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see the use for it, to be honest. Um, so yeah, just gonna make sure that this guy doesn't wake up. I feel it too. Yeah, the noise from these are quite nasty. Like, it's... Uh, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but if you heard it yourself, then <laughs> leave a comment of how you think it sounds like when it uh, makes a sound of the Oberaptor. Either when it eats or when it's just wild and makes sounds. Um, but yeah, it, this is gonna take a while, so I will cut ahead in the video and we'll be back once it's almost tamed. Okay, you guys, um, as you can see, um, I started and I didn't think it would tame straight away, but I wanted to make sure that I got it on camera. So um, we now have tamed an Oviraptor and it only took, um, I don't know how many eggs we have. We have five eggs left, so it took five 
uh, T-Rex eggs. So this is how the little fella looks like. Let me just... No, actually I've turned down the gamma already, I think. Yeah. So this is how it looks like. It's pretty cool. Um, it is kind of orangey, I would say. Uh, it looks kind of like a bird from the front. I guess because it eats eggs, I don't know. I don't know. But um, it's tame now, and that's pretty cool. So, yeah, five Rex eggs. I think that Quetzal eggs would be more effective, but, you know, um, it's uh, much more expensive. So, we got three levels on it. Um, there is a new one there. Well, I'm going to take mine and go away from here. I wonder what level that one is. Should we see... Uh, it's only a level 3. Well, I can only carry one, so <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna take two for now. I'm gonna take one, I'm gonna bring it back home. And yeah, it will have to go to work. We're gonna put this one, I think, in the main pen. Because that's where we get the most eggs from. Because there's the most dinosaurs there. Um, so yeah, I think this is a pretty cool addition to the game. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And uh, that's gonna be pretty much it. It's a short episode, but um, it didn't take long to tame this guy. Um, I don't exactly know how long I waited to just starve it down to zero, but um, it didn't take long at all. I can tell you that, like maybe 15, 20 minutes. And remember, this is a server where it's times three taming, so keep that in mind. If you play on um, on another server with only one times tam taming, then it obviously is going to take much longer. And also many more eggs. So, anyways, I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. So, peace out.